Hi, this is Ryan with Optrua again, uh, just with another quick how-to video. Today we're going to talk about views. Uh, views are kind of the cornerstone of CRM. When you search for anything, when you first come into a table like an opportunity, um, you have this collection of views here. And as you can see, by default, there's a lot of stuff here. And one of the things I found is that having this many views for newer users of CRM is confusing. And there's a really easy way to trim this down to just the things that you use. So for example, if you're not doing a lot of follows, if you're um, you know, not using sequences and so forth, um, maybe we wanna turn those off. So to turn them off, uh, all you need to do is to go over to your uh, Power Apps Designer environment and um, create a solution that would contain your changes. And say I'm gonna work on the opportunity, so I'm gonna create a new opportunity solution, opportunity views, and I'm gonna select my publisher, and we'll create that. Okay, now that that's been created, um, I want to add some existing uh, objects to my solution. So I'm going to go to table. I'm going to pick opportunity. Uh, easy enough. And then just for simplicity, I'm going to pick include all objects. The objects are, you know, things like views and keys and all the different parts of the entity. Um, but I'm going to just go ahead and say all. And once the screen refreshes, you'll see you have this opportunity object. Once I'm inside the object, I can see, you know, forms, views, charts, dashboards, and so forth. So all the different objects within the table. I can also use this Explorer on the side to navigate. And I'm going to go right to views. And notice that um, this has a collection because I included all objects that list all the different views that I have. Now, for this demo, I'm only interested in the public views. You'll notice that there's a number of other views, advanced find, associated lookup, and so forth. Those are for a different lesson. Um, so I'm gonna filter this quickly by just say, um, looking for the public views. And furthermore, I wanna only look for the ones that are turned on. So I'm gonna say filter by on. Okay, so now I have only, I'm only seeing the, the views that are turned on. So looking at these views quickly, I, I need to keep this one all closed. Um, maybe I'm gonna just clean up the ones really quickly and then I can just turn them off one at a time. And um, notice that when I do, it will fall off my little view here. I'm gonna take uh, these two also, oops, I can only do one at a time turn that off. And so I can go through this whole selection here and clean these up the way that I need. And as you can see now here, I've limited the views down to just a small handful. It'll be easier for my users to get their arms around these when they're first getting started. Um, and so now I have this list, I'll show it to you in Dynamics. Okay, back in CRM now, I can see that if I look at the different views that I have. I have just a small collection now, and uh, which is a lot more manageable, and I can get right to my open opportunities. And I come here and I start looking at this view, and I see, hmm, okay, data is getting cut off. I can't see the full company name. Oh, and look, the company name's on my view twice. And, you know, how am I reading this? I usually read left to right. I'm looking at the topic and then the contact and the revenue and the close date. It's it's kind of a jumble. Uh, easy enough. I already have the solution open. I go back to the solution I had. I look at my views. I find the My Open Opportunity view, which just also happens to be the default. And when I open this view, you can see it looks just like what the view in CRM looked like. A couple of things, um, and, and some of these are preference and some of these are stylistic, uh, but for me, one of the first things that I care about on the opportunity is who the company is. And I can uh, adjust the column this way, or I can uh, edit properties and just set it to a value that I know. So I'm going to say 250. Maybe that's oh, maybe too too much. Um, say 200. Great. So that gives me that. Um, and maybe the next thing I want is my contact over at that uh, company. 
and I'm going to make that 150. That looks like that's enough space. Then, you know, the topic or what the subject of the opportunity is. Now, in this case, it looks like this is a duplicate. I don't need to have the account contact and the potential customer. So I'm going to remove that one. Uh, the close date, the revenue, and um, probability, and maybe I don't use rating, so I'm going to remove that. And I definitely don't use this last column either. And so now I have this view. It has these pieces of information on it. I can quickly save this, publish it, and then go look at it in Dynamics to see it. Okay, so now I've come over uh, back to uh, Dynamics CRM, and I can take a look at this Maya Open Opportunities view. Um, I've reset it. I'm looking at like the column widths, um, do I have the, all the information I want? Uh, if I wanted to add additional fields, I could, but maybe this one's just perfect. I then repeat the process with the other views that I'm uh, keeping. Um, like this one, you can see it's kind of not aligned like the other one was, um, not the same amount of useful information. And so I have to kind of rinse and repeat on each of the views. And each view might have a different reason uh, for having a certain alignment and so forth. So think about the business process. Think about how your users are going to use the views and uh, you'll be on your way to having good, useful views for your users. Thanks much.